Your twenties are that phase of your life where I believe that you're prepping yourself for your future. It's a self-improvement phase. Keeping self-improvement in mind, in today's video, we're talking about five easy to follow daily habits that will absolutely turn your life around. So let's go. Tip number one, super simple, leave at least a two hour gap between your bedtime and your last meal. Why you ask? All right. So think of a workout. Every time you work out, your muscles need a little bit of extra oxygen to just keep pumping. It works the same way with your digestive system. Every single time you eat, your body pulls in a lot more oxygen in order to aid your digestive system in the process of digestion. So what's the result? The result is deeper breaths. Just like the time you go for a buffet or after a heavy meal, you breathe deep. You don't want to give priority to that. You want to give priority to shorter breaths. And shorter breaths take place when you're on an empty stomach. Very simple rule. Give priority to shorter breaths, not longer breaths. Give priority to eating light at dinner or going completely hungry before your bedtime. Keep a gap of two to three hours. And very simple rule. Give priority to quality sleep, which is only going to happen when you go to sleep on an empty stomach. If you create this kind of a scenario for your body, you might even be able to get away with having a lesser quantity of sleep. Sleep for a shorter amount of time, but still feel rested. Tip number two, super simple. You've got to hang out with older people who are not your parents. Have older friends in life. Get into a habit of actually hanging out with them maybe once or twice a month. That's all. Not people your age who have the exact same perspectives that you have on life, but people who've lived a lot longer than you. As you grow older, your perspectives, the way you look at life completely changes up. Whether you learn about business, whether you increase your network size a little bit more, whether you just learn a little bit about philosophy, whether you just learn what not to do from the wrong older people you meet, meeting older people will expand the size of your outlook and your mind. Take this advice seriously. Go and hang out with your friends, cool parents. Go and find some cool older people that you'll be able to gain knowledge from. Tip number three, give a lot of priority to consuming vegetables at every meal and ideally try changing it up. It's not just a health thing. Yes, it'll help with the health of your hair, your skin, your brain, your nervous system, but there's a lot more that it does for you. A high fiber diet is linked to the health of your bowel, to your bowel movements. And your bowel movements are directly linked to your energy levels as well as your mood. So keeping that in mind, if you want your mood to be sky high throughout the day, you've got to include a little bit of veggies at every meal. Obviously, veggies are very filling, they're high in fiber, so they're going to fill your stomach, they're going to keep you from eating a lot of the other unhealthy food options out there. At every meal, especially if you're going out to a restaurant, first order a salad, not because it's a healthy food option, but only to get your vegetable intake at that meal. Very crucial for your overall mood, your long-term immunity levels, and your long-term health, all of which are linked to your long-term happiness. Tip number four, don't waste all your time in the day. I'm not saying that you perform activities about self-improvement and all that jazz. I'm just saying that living in a city, you end up wasting a lot of time on stupid activities, like getting stuck in traffic or walking from one place to another, or even just going for your cardio session, which I don't think is stupid, but you do end up wasting a little bit of time if you're just spending your time on exercise and not exercise of your mind. Let me explain. So in a scenario like this, most people would like to listen to music or the radio. Good. But those activities don't really help in the development of your brain. So my only quick solution to you is that instead of choosing music at those points of your life, choose activities that will help expand your mind. Two solutions, podcasts and audiobooks. If you want my podcast and audiobook recommendations, they're in the description box. Podcasts are basically just recorded conversations between two successful people usually. The amount you can learn and gain from a podcast, whether it's about business or just life advice is insane. I've been listening to podcasts for about a year and a half and it's changed my life because I feel like I don't end up wasting any more time in my life. I'm always gaining some kind of information from some source. So whether I'm working out, whether I'm stuck in traffic, whether I'm just walking around in the city or very importantly, before going to bed, 
podcasts are the key to having a high level of information in your life. The fifth and final but also most important point of this video, you've got to give priority to what I call the hot phase of your day. 30 minutes to 60 minutes before you go to bed. Why? So to answer that question, you've got to understand the power of the subconscious mind. Understand your mind which is like a ship, your conscious mind which is like the crew of the ship and your subconscious mind which is the captain of your ship. The crew of the ship is responsible for all your daily actions, how your body functions, the actions you take in your life. But your captain of the ship, your subconscious mind, that is affected by your actions, your experiences, your daily habits and even the people who you meet, the people who surround you. It becomes the core of your thought process. You don't really have control over it, but it has control over you. The direction of your life, your outlook on certain things, all that is decided by your subconscious mind. You fill your subconscious mind with negative data or the wrong habits and you'll end up getting a negative outlook on life. You'll be what they call a loser. If you want to be a winner, you fill it with the positive data. And this is where the hot phase that I was talking about comes into play. The one point of your day where you're able to directly affect your subconscious mind is that one hour before bedtime. You've got two options. Your first option is meditation, obviously. One of the best things that you can do if self-improvement is your goal in life. Basic meditation before bedtime can change your life around. But the second option, if meditation isn't your thing, you can go for self-improvement books. Read books about business if that's your goal. Read books about spirituality if that's your goal. But above all, read books about positivity and self-improvement. Either way guys, that was the video for today. You make sure that you guys apply these five easy to follow daily habits and you will see your life changing. Remember, if you want to be that person who changes the world, the change begins with yourself. Put your bad habits away and take up these five easy to follow good habits. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and until next time guys from Ranveer and the team and from the Mental Fitness series of course, we'll see you later.